We're getting a new kill team. Welcome to the Grizzle War Master. I'm Mike. I'm Doug. And we're here to talk today about uh, Kill Team Octarius, a brand new Kill Team rule set, box set coming out. Uh, and it looks like they're taking a page out of Warcry. Is that to a degree? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So they're kind of like merging these two systems together. Like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we've got third edition. Age of Sigmar just, just came out, and uh, it's kind of veering towards 40K, especially with the ki the narrative campaign rules. Right. Uh, and now we have Kill Team coming out, which is kind of veering towards the popular war cry, which is, you know, they're still separate, but they're getting yeah. closer and closer every day. <laughs> yeah, I think the big difference, it seems, is that the Kill Team won't be nearly as random and unfocused as Warcry is. Yeah. That was a major complaint was the the massively um, randomness of Warcry made building, you know, your units essentially yeah. just a shot in the dark. You know, you didn't know what you were planning for. You didn't know how your team needed to function together because it could be anything. Yeah. You could have a whole shooty army and then uh, all of a sudden you get the storm, which limits your range. Right. And now you're... <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's jump into it. Let's take a look. Um, this, this came out this weekend here. So, take a look at the video here. But uh, this is it. This is a new Kill Team box. Lots of terrain. Uh, two sets, uh, you know, orcs versus uh, the Death Core Creek. We've got plastic yeah. Death Core models now, right? Yeah, uh, and they confirmed that you can build them as regular troopers, not as the, the kill team. The kill team. So when these come out as a box set on their own, you could use it as a true, a regular troop. Right. You know, you can or your veterans. And arm sergeants. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. it's not just all the kill team models. You know, you're going to be able to build them. They're multi part kits. They're not push fit like yeah. the. Yeah. Uh, um, the Dominion box was right, and this looks—they they look they, amazing. I mean, did you ever yeah, think we'd really get cool. plastic Death Creek models? I mean, yeah, I—I I always hoped because all of—I don't understand why they don't support all of the cool regiments they have. Yeah, I, mean, I guess when you figure that only a small portion of your audience plays Imperial Guard, mm -hmm. and then if you chopped your imperial guard into five different pieces then you're going to sell less of all of them and you're putting extra money i understand that but they've been around so long they're the coolest looking just yeah well and if you just introduced one new regiment each new edition you'd have them all by now i'd rather have these than the catachans right of course you have to have cadians i like the Cadians. Yeah, i like I them mean, too oh, but the yeah. yeah i mean the cadians you have to have uh yeah. But these guys, I mean, and they line up really well with, when I mean, you compare them side by side with the Forge World models. And again, Death Corps was always Forge World's, you know, you always went Forge World for those models. The only difference is Forge World uh, is a little more realistic scale than heroic scale. So mm -hmm. these heroic scale models have bigger hands, right? right. And um, But really, the heads aren't, because they're wearing helmets, the heads aren't much bigger. The hands are only the only place you really notice it. Uh, yeah. But I don't think. But they're wearing gloves again, right? I don't see. I don't think it's a problem. Not a big deal, right? <laughs> uh, and these these models are super cool, and yet they're the second coolest unit in, in the box <laughs> because look, if you like orcs. look at these orc commandos. I say, the boss is the boss looks freaking sweet. He look, the cap. I mean, look at that red claw. I mean, and then the commando grot with the did grappling you watch hook. The preview when they were talking about him? No, I I did not. Because I guess the design aesthetic they were going for was like '80s action. Yeah. You know, action movie kind of. Trope. I can see that. I can see it. Yeah. So. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. Come on. I'm gonna say I like the boss. 
Grunt, whatever. The Commando Grunt is awesome. What are you talking about? That is like the best, best figure in this box set right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you've got the uh, the train bomb squig. The bomb squig. Crazy. Yeah. Normally, I could care less about squigs. Um, that, this one, <laughs> seeing him in the trailer, was just freaking awesome. I was like, okay. Yeah. I'm, this is the one uh, squig I'm sold on. Yeah. Look at these guys. Uh, I do like the dude with the rebreather there. Yeah. He's pretty cool. I love the little uh, the, the cap. The, uh, yeah, he's got the sock cap like a uh, World War II commando. With a giant drum and a three-barrel machine gun. Yeah. Just ridiculous orc weapons. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is, that a, is that a battering ram? Yeah. He's oh, like my a goodness. Preacher. Again, I don't. These two, I'm like, no, nah, whatever. They're orcs. Look at that. He's, the he's, flamethrower dude is cool. He's got a oh, folding stock some. over his... Over his gun. Look at that. That is awesome. Yep. Uh, you see that oh, this, rocket launcher. The dude above? Yeah. Is their communications dude. Oh. Obviously, he uses his communications for uh, a weapon as well. Nice. Uh, that is awesome. And I love, you know. The Burner Boy looks cool. And that's a sniper rifle. That's a sniper, that's rifle. sniper oh, rifle? Oh, my goodness. Good. Uh,. I love the detail. Look at the burns it's on the Burner Boy. Fed, it's a belt fed. Belt fed sniper <laughs> rifle. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah but again, I like the Burner Boy mostly because of his appearance in the trailer was ten, pretty cool. Ten shots, one kill. That's, that's, the, that's the motto with the sniper. But look at the burns on this guy. His hands and his. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's. I mean, look at that now, detail. I don't know if that's modeled onto it or if that's they painted it be yeah. interesting to see i don't know it looks like it was modeled on there either way i like the flaming job onto my face mask yeah yeah these guys are cool i mean so look at the terrain you get in this thing right you got a full that, and here's the thing a lot of terrain i was looking at the terrain it is awesome don't get me wrong i would say the only drawback is it is extremely orc themed so if you're oh, not yeah, yeah. if you're not playing orcs Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this terrain. Well, it's part cool. Of the looking. reason is that's why this is called the Octarius box set. And yeah. The fluff behind it is there is a giant orc wah taking over the Octarius mm. system. So even if you're not fighting orcs, there have probably been orcs around recently. Fair enough. So you can you can say this is the system we're playing in. It's got all of this orc. You know, there's a big ass orc wah going on. Look at the um, string so of lights on the barricade. That's a <laughs> just sorry. It's just I mean, crazy. This is very Warcry ish terrain. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things Warcry did really well. And there's yeah. actually enough terrain on here with just a couple more pieces, you could fill a normal bulk. Yeah. You need a couple more line of you know, big uh, line of sight blocking and or garrisonable. I uh, don't call it garrison, you know, just Yeah. You know, it's an Age of Sigmar term. Like ruins <laughs> that you can be inside, you know, Imperial ruins or something like that on there. And you could have a full table's worth of terrain. Yeah. They, so you could do a full 2,000 point game from a Warcraft or from a uh, kill team box. So that's pretty awesome. So you get I 10. I do have to complain that the, the Death Core guys are not as flavorful individually <coughs> as the Orcs, as the orcs are. Bummer. Right. But. They were designed. I mean, they look cool, but yeah, but like you said, they got they were designed to come out so you can actually have plastic Death Corps Imperial Guardsmen right in your regular army. Uh, All right, but let's focus. On, okay, go ahead. go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say you get ten, say, ten Death Corps and twelve Orc Commandos. Uh -huh. So I mean, okay. you get a lot of stuff in this box. So, and that's the interesting because they said that this is. I mean, in the. Um, in the rules that they showed, there were no points for any of these guys. So it was implied that these two are that these two forces are um, balanced against each other. But that's interesting that twelve boys is ten Krieg models. So yeah. I don't know. Um, an interesting thing that they picked that um, came out of some of the people who dug into bits of the text we saw. These gauges are your measurements. They do not have inches anywhere in the book. Oh, wow. Okay. You can either go, this 
this big ruler is six inches and is represented in the text by a hex um then the i think the flat edge is um two inches there at the top i don't know i forget there's there's like but it's like three one, different measurements four and, measurements on yeah, this it's like one two or six inches but they're they're represented by a triangle a circle and a hex and it's like mm, i don't is that so you could save on translation costs yeah I, what what could possibly be the reasoning for getting rid of probably if they did symbols like that then yeah you don't have to worry about metric and imperial right see yeah there's a circle there's a square there's a hex on that one so yeah probably a triangle down at the bottom end uh so yeah i mean that's I, I guess so and guns don't have range in this game they don't have range it is all guns are assumed it, i think pistols and flamers have that ruler as their range but everything else is just assumed to be able to hit anything else on the board nice because you're close quarters fighting right you're only a 30 by 22 board so yeah everything is in range <laughs> wow except with certain special weapons obviously and you got it's, it's got its own book the i guess uh, yeah, that's a campaign book the whole, the whole campaign for 40k and theoretically this box set of kill team as well notice the tyranids are right there on the top. yeah i was gonna say Tyranids so apparently the they're gonna there's gonna be some tyranid rules in the war zone i gotta say uh 40k fans are getting pretty frustrated with these campaign books mm. because they're big campaign books that are expensive like 45 or 50 bucks a piece i think and they they're a ton of fluff and like eight pages of rules or 10 pages of rules oh <laughs> nice so it's like you're yeah. paying 50 bucks for 10 pages. It's yeah. really, it's got some people are starting to grind their teeth about it. I can understand that. So, yeah. so what, what is this, do we know what this box is going to go for here? This giant, is it going to be like comparable to Warcry starter I box? I have not heard. I have not seen anywhere on the, um, let me, well, let's scroll to the bottom. Of, sometimes they say at the bottom of the article, but okay. I, they don't even have a release date yet. For it so I'm betting that it hasn't been released yet and I they're gonna have a hard time justifying two hundred dollars for that box so probably one fifty yeah I'm guessing one fifty I was gonna say two hundred you, you gotta assume that the the twelve orcs and the ten um, uh, guardsmen are forty-five, fifty-dollar boxes if sold on their own each. So that's a hundred bucks already. That's yeah. a lot of terrain, but you usually get a pretty good deal on these box sets. So I don't think it's out of the question to say one hundred and fifty, but you could be right. It could be two hundred. Yeah, I think they'll f sell far fewer than they think they will if they charge two hundred. Mm. Look at these new orc boys down here. They finally updated the orc boy model. Mm -hmm. uh, where they actually, like... Well, we're going to take a look at them here. We're going to take a look at some of the new stuff that came out here. So, we get a whole bunch of new orcs. Uh, and we're going to take a look at some of the models here. Uh, the big wog is here. So, the uh, the war machines. Uh, this is a kill rig. Yeah, and they were saying... Um, that base doesn't look like it, but they were saying this... They uh, People I've been... And I actually think they may have said this on this live stream that this is going to be approximately a Bane Blade Whoa. kind of profile. Wow. Like there's like all of the different weapons on here. Um, size wise, I mean, I guess it's pretty big. I mean, look, there's, there's, was that six boys on there? Or, yeah, six boys. Um, if these are regular size boys, that's um, yeah about three boys long of uh, base, maybe four. Well, so that's a good four uh, inches long. Or five something. boys in a in a wide eyed were boy at the oh. top up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, they're these are with the the new kind of like wild, not wild, but the like more squig riders, less armor than the regular. Boys, this is the new. I don't know if it's a new faction. Is it what, oh. do, they call, what do they call them? The uh, uh, 
Beef snaggers. Beef snaggers. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like, uh, I, I don't know if they're a new tribe that it's being added or or clan. I should say, not yeah. tribe. Well, look at this thing. They are kind of tribe. Look at the look at this thing, man. Look at the detail on it. Look at the little rot in the <laughs> engine. The twisted cable there. I mean, I don't know if that's their painting job or if it's actually modeled as a cable. Yeah, I think it, it is. It looks like it's modeled as a cable, yeah. so that's pretty cool. I actually like, well, I can't remember. This is, I like the cannons on this one better. But there's an alternate build for it. Yeah. This is, I think, this the is, psychic version. And, and this one has a harpoon. So you either got the, yeah. the weird, weird boy on top or the, uh, the harpoon. Right, drag your. I assume drag your vehicles, your opponents <laughs> towards towards you. It's a hunter rig, so it's either a hunter rig. Oh yeah, and it's got like a platform up here. It's kind of moved. Is that the same thing? Yeah, because it's, it's missing the big gun on front. Yeah, and it's got a. I think that gun builds the uh, harpoon instead. Yeah, scroll back up a little. Oh no, it's the middle one. The middle one. Builds. So the so then so it moves the, back. That front one is the moves back. One. Yeah, there you go. So okay. I, all right, let's take a look. We'll look through all the orcs, and I'll give you my opinion on on, on this. Seeing how we got, we can compare. Since Ace Sigmar has a new orc faction coming out of the um, Cruel Boys, and then we got yeah. the Beast Snag is coming out for forty k, a vastly different. So let's take a look at this guy here. Uh, yeah. This beast boss here is, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about these orcs. I gotta be honest with you. I love orcs, and all the craziness, but I don't know. I mean, this one seems a little busy to me, right? Look at all the different textures on this thing. He's got like, his claws got bone and metal, and it's got, he's got scales, and he's got fur, and he's got horns. And he's got horns all over the place. Yeah, and armor, and look, and he's got a, a, a targeting squig on his shoulder. So, yeah, uh, I did not know what you were referring to when you told me about that earlier, and that does look. Yeah, stupid. I'm like, all right, look, I, I, I get squigs can, and orcs with their their psychic ability can make stuff work that doesn't not supposed to, but it's almost like this stuff has gone that one step too far for me, right? Like that. This, I love squigs. If that were a grot, that would be awesome. The targeting grot, yeah, but yeah, the, yeah. his eyeball is like the, the target. I mean, I don't. It's a, it's, it's like if that. If there were a grot sitting on his, on his shoulder firing a gun. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. A squig makes no sense. Yeah, squigs I, it, don't have any intelligence. It, it's just, yeah, it's just a little. Their mouths and stomachs on legs. <laughs> just one step too far. Uh, but they actually have a uh, tower as well. So they got a terrain piece, which is yeah, a piece, yeah. gargant head. So it's the head of a gargant, uh, and it's got a tower. There's got little speakers up here where you can give commands, so you can put your commander up there. And it's festooned with big shooters. Yeah. You know what's funny is this looks a lot like the um, um, – the towers that the orcs can build in Dawn of War. Oh, does it? Nice. Yeah. I mean, not exactly, but but yeah. Especially the top part of it looks like you know it's just a bunch of. Well, in Dawn of War, it's a bunch of grots on, sitting in a tower firing big shooters. Nice. Yeah. So I mean, this is kind of cool. It's a cool piece, you know, terrain piece. It's a. Uh, and then they have uh, the Great White Squig. Uh, the uh, Mozgrod Scragbad on his sharp his, uh, squig. Yeah, his uh, jaws, his car jaws. I don't. It's, I mean, it's not even like shark shooting lasers. It's like sharks with an engine, maybe. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's a squig shaped like a shark, which is already kind of. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. That's fine. I don't mind the cybernetic leg, but that stupid engine panel on the side. The, the exhaust the coming out the side. Out yeah. The I'm like, what, uh, what yeah. does that do? That's a little. That's it's a little much. And why didn't you paint your? If you wanted to go fast, why didn't why didn't you paint your uh, guy red there? Yeah. So yeah, and I guess he's he's part of the snake bite part of the it's a specific clan for the uh, B 
be Snagger Boys. But I think snake bites are uh, normal. Are they normal? Clan, aren't they? Are they normal clan? I think they're a normal clan. Yeah. Uh, I'm not so sure. apparently the beast snaggers can be in. Could be in a clan, maybe. Yeah. I will say I I, I I I here's the thing I I don't want to kind of crap on the the new orc models because I love I love orcs right I love the aesthetic of 40k orcs I know some people don't uh, but I I liked it you know I like I like it still and I don't hate these models it's just I think they've kind of gone a step too far than what I would like in these models you know uh, mm-hmm. like I like I, I love the cybernetic arm on this guy and the claws. Right, and I don't mind the giant shark squig. That's fine because they have different squigs, different type sides. I that, for some reason why that exhaust on the side of it really bothers me. I don't know why. But I mean, look at that cybernetic arm. That thing is sweet. And that face. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I, yeah uh, I don't know. But you can also build this without the spe- uh, not as a special character, but uh, as a regular. Uh, yeah, he's a snake bite horde there, but he can just send, build his regular boss, uh, beast boss on beast a boss on squigasaur, sword. right? <laughs> uh, and I and I kind of like, you know, it doesn't actually have the, the fins, the shark fins, but uh, I kind of like it better painted more squig color, right, than, I, than the yeah. white one. But like, I like this model better, and I don't know why. Because I, I, like I like the orc on the other one. I, like I said, mm-hmm. his cybernetics is cool, but I like his model overall. I think better. But yeah, but let's take a look at the new boys. All right, so uh, the orcs needed an updating, right? And I like the the big burly aesthetic of the orcs in 40k. I think it fits better than it does in fantasy, which I like. That's why I like the cruel boys because they've kind of gone away from oh, that. Right. Uh, but you can see here, there's still got the head got the hunch that the or the that the orcs have but mm-hmm. it's not as pronounced i don't think and i think the big thing about it is the legs they're not squatting like they're like all orcs look like they're taking a crap right they're all they, before they're <laughs> they're all wide leg and squatting and now the legs they look like they're closer together right and they're standing more up upright yeah. uh and they they still got the hunch but and i i like they look you know uh properly brutish Right, mm-hmm. so I like this. I mean, Orc Boy kit needed an up, an update because we've been at the same Orc Boy kit forever. Uh, and I like this new kit. I like you know much like I like the uh, the Orc Commandos in the Kill Team box. I really like these new Orc Boys. <laughs> they got the spiky helmet. Uh, the nice. big shooter. Yeah, I mean, rocket launcher. Yeah, I mean they. They're, they're more dynamic, right? Because as we're... All the Orc Boys before, they had the same torso and the same, like, legs, right? So they weren't nearly as dynamic as these. Look at that. Look at that boss. With a claw. So, yeah. With a big boss claw? Yep. I think that's what that's called. Big boss claw. Yeah, so I like the boys. I, I think they're awesome. And look at this. Death Copters. These, these have not been updated since... Black Reach starter set, which was 13 years ago. How long ago was that? I don't know. That was way back, back when I worked for GW. It was the starter set for the Black Reach starter set. That, um, But, yeah, they had copters, death copters in that. Uh, so we get, we're finally getting a uh, death copter uh, upgrade. <laughs> and see, I like – this is goofiness I like. I like this kind of goofiness, right? <laughs> Uh, look at all the rockets up front. That is that is the coolest one. I don't know. You don't like the one that has rockets on the propellers? The big bomb? Faster? Yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, all in all, I like the I like the new orcs, right? It just that the beast snag is, I don't, I think some of them have gone a little too over the edge. With me, when you compare the two, when you compare the, because, and I keep bringing cruel boys up, but we got a brand new orc uh, faction in Age of Sigmar, and mm-hmm. it's vastly different, right? Uh, it used to be 
Not that either one of these were ever realistic in any way, especially when it came to orcs. But it used to be the aesthetic was always more grounded with 40K, if that's a, if you could say that about 40K. As far as, like, the look goes, you know, compared to fantasy. And now it looks like the pendulum kind of swung the other way with the releases in Age of Sigmar, you know, looking more, more, like, less, you know. Even with the new, even with the new, um, uh, Stormcast, they look less heroic scale, right? And more, oh, right, And yeah. more realistic. Uh, and then here you got the same contrast, contrast those, the, the Cruel Boys with, you know, the new stuff they're coming out with Orcs and 40K, right? You know? Yeah. <laughs> I know it's, I know it's a rough comparison, but just think about that, that Orc on the, on the Beast in the box set compared to this guy. You know, I just, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it still feels like, um, like 40K is getting way more detailed than it's ever been before, mm -hmm. but it's still very chonky. Yeah. Like they can't, like, uh, and I mean, that's kind of appropriate for orcs, but. Yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. The um, stockiness. They and... don't seem to do the fine detail as well. And I don't know why that is. You would assume they are using the same software, maybe some of the same artists. Do they just have a different mandate? I don't know. Because, um, like, take this guy for instance. Look at look at. He has a ton of detail on him. You can't say that he does. He's not detailed out. But for some right. reason, it doesn't. I, I don't know. I this guy. I I want to like this guy. <laughs> and and I'm like, he's just. It's just too much almost right this guy yeah and that's i mean part of the thing with uh that i think happens a lot more in 40k than in age of sigmar is you can kind of tell how in age of sigmar the people operate on the battlefield in this you look at this guy and you go how would this guy move how could he <laughs> ever even react to an opponent <laughs> um, quick enough for yeah. it to make a difference. Um, I guess that's why uh, the horns have a lot of chunks taken out of them, because he just managed to turn and take the shot or the chop yeah. on a horn because there was just nowhere else to hit him. Yeah, it just it kind of yeah. It's it's like one of those. I when I look at a really cool model, I look at it and go, I want to paint that model, right? And when I look at this thing, and I should want to paint this thing, but I'm like, ah, this would be a nightmare to paint. You, you know oh. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, and why does he have scales? I mean, what, if you're just stuck with the fur, I don't know. I, I, you know, I just, yeah. It's just, I think it's like that one, like I said, that one step too far with the orcs, but not, not to the point where I don't like the new stuff, right? I mean, I, far right. be it for me to not like squigs. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite things, but I don't know. I just, you know, this. It I, is interesting. Yeah, I mean, the the difference between the two when you compare. I mean, I know the different games, and I know the different, you know, the different aesthetics. But it's just the different aesthetics. But yeah, you know, when you but compare I mean, the the new stuff to that new stuff, it's almost like that other seems. And I know it's not, but it seems like the Age of Sigmar stuff is more detailed. All right, or no, I don't know. Um, I oh, kind of oh. want to at this point now. I kind of want to put a the new Castle and Crow Grey Knights model that's coming up. Oh yeah, put Thanks. it next to Yandrasta. That's true because it's... Castle and Crow looks super cool, but he doesn't look nearly as characterful characterful as Yandrasta does. Yeah, and it's hard to say why. I mean, he's super detailed as well. Um, he's got a lot cleaner lines than this orc guy does. I mean, that's obviously, that's the aesthetic. Um, but you just look at it and you go, uh, what is going on? Why why do these feel so differently? Yeah, I mean, let's look, he looks freaking awesome. Yeah, but I see what um, you're saying. And you could tell he's all detailed out, but the Andrasta model, maybe it's because we've had our hands up close on the Andrasta model, you know? That could be. Yeah, uh, and right. maybe we just need to get our hands on this guy to you know to compare, 
But I, I do, I get that same feeling, Doug. I'm like, you know. Yeah, but, I mean, look at him compared to his race. I know. <laughs> he looks so much. That's sword alone. Yeah, if they I change, love Grey Knights. The Grey Knights are awesome. I'm looking it, forward to that. I, I'm hope, I can't wait for their update to see, you know, if they get, you know, the buff they need to be competitive. Look at that sword, though. I want, I, yeah. <laughs> I want that sword for other things. I just want like, <laughs> I just want like five of those swords. Just, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean he he's got some detail on him. He's he's detailed out. I would you would you build him without the, with or without the helmet? That is a big question. Uh, probably with. With. I like helmeted characters. I do too. I, I prefer them helmeted. Yeah. But yeah, I mean um, I agree, I can see what you're saying though when you want to compare them side by side because I get. And I and I think it might be the fact that we've had our hands on this on the other stuff, you know, so we can look through, look at it up close. But mm -hmm. I do see where you're coming from, and I and I feel the same way about the orcs, right? It's almost like uh, it's almost like it's two different companies. But it, you know, I mean, I know it's GW, <laughs> but it's just like right, you yeah. know, it's the amount of detail they put into the new Age of Sigmar stuff, and and, and you know, it just doesn't look. Maybe it's the paint. Maybe it's you know the fact that we've not got them up close, but. I do feel the same way you do. Like, but anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this, this kill team. I mean, I, I like playing kill team. Uh, I like playing 40 K. Don't get me wrong. I like playing 40 yeah. K, but, um, I, I don't get to play it as often as H of Sigmar. And right. I know we've started our, um, our campaign, Right. Or build up that, but I kind of like, like the the quick. I like Warcry a lot, right? And so, I'm looking forward to that version of it, or you know, the 40k kill team. Yeah, I'm looking. I only played kill team like twice, mm -hmm. um, and my problem with it was, uh, I didn't feel like one wound models represented the kill team very well. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad to see that they're going with the multi wounds because it was like, yeah, well if I'm playing Space Marines, my and then you're playing Tyranid, you've probably got double the number of models. Yeah, and yeah, mine probably are better quality. But if you sneak through, you get you know, a hit through, you, and you get a hit through, and I fail a save, it's way more impactful for yeah. me than it is if I kill a Gaunt or something like that. Right. So that always felt kind of like mm, this doesn't seem to really represent the feel you're going for kill so team I'm glad to see they're doing that kill team when you scale it back down to squad level they should feel heroic right those are that's like yeah. action movie <laughs> heroes but uh, it don't always feel like felt like you're one die you're one die roll away from dying yep and it was and it felt like like 40k light you know just taking a squad <laughs> of regular you know really 40k as where i like the heroic feel of Warcry, and I'm glad that's that's coming over into Kill Team. So, but I do like they're going yeah. to the alternating activation. As well. Yes, absolutely. That is that was definitely needed. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we'll go through some more of these. Let's put some more videos out, guys. When we get some as more previews come in, uh, we'll give you updates on uh, our Age of Sigmar Dominion box that we've got. We're, we're getting painted up, uh, and then right in the middle of it, Doug decides to switch armies, so he's got a lot of painting. In. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm gonna use the uh, Stormcast probably as my Path to Glory army, mm -hmm. and my Lumineth as my competitive army. Is what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. Nice. Yeah. But we'll see. I mean, they've got a new battle tome coming out, so when that comes out, then I'll make a yeah a more, a make, final decision. Make a decision on that one next month. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Yeah, let us know what you think of the the new orcs, uh, the new kill team models. Is it everything you hoped it would be? Are, you know, does any of you feel like we do about the orcs, or are we just overthinking this? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, and if you want to support us, there's going to be a few links down below. You can support us through those. So we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.